Hello everybody and welcome to this video. It's another in the Student Exemplar series looking at Lord of the Flies, as many of you have asked for. Now here's the situation. If you've done a piece of work that's got a good grade, send it to me, info at mrbroff.com, and if we use it in a video, I'll send you a free copy of my guide to English language and my guide to English literature. You can be named in the video or do it anonymously, and this student is anonymous. So... The question is, how does Golding use the character of Jack to present ideas about savagery? And the student starts with, Golding uses the character of Jack to represent the savagery hidden in man's heart, a stain in the darkness, a stain that was Jack. Jack portrays the fatal flaw of humankind that is masked by civilization, and the gradual change in Jack's attitudes to others and nature parallels the group's descent into savagery. The noun stain has hard sounds, and it has connotations of something that is unremovable and constant. This links with the fact that all humans have some fault, and therefore Jack could represent the side of humans that is truly evil. The use of the indefinite article A suggests that Jack isn't the only cause that has led to the downfall of the boys on the island, and presents the idea that Jack was just the spark that was ignited in the boys, but they could have chosen what to do with it. Although Jack isn't evil at all times, like Roger, who is a sadist that enjoys hurting others, his selfishness and insensitivity to the little ones proves that his narcissistic thoughts are controlling him. Golding's purpose to illustrate that no one is completely good. Now, as so often happens in the Exemplar series, here's a paragraph that contains maybe six different things, okay? So... Very nice sort of introduction. Golding uses the character of Jack to represent the savagery hidden in man's heart. I like the idea of using the wording of the question to make it clear that you are, you know, directly answering the question. It's so easy in literature to just write about what you know rather than answer the question. Then we've got the analysis of stain and the indefinite article A. And I think both of those go together quite nicely. And then I just think this little bit at the end is thrown in that is perhaps not you know, even required, this bit about Roger, and then some plot analysis. And you know that the highest marks go to those who can analyse language and structure and form. Analysing the words stain and a is language analysis. But this is something different at the end here, which is just analysing the plot, which is a lower level skill. When this happens, it makes us think this is not the sort of skill we want to demonstrate. So I wouldn't have actually included that bit. Golding also uses Jack to present the idea that the only thing that stops humans from being fully savage is the weight of civilization holding us back. Kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood. The monosyllabic language coupled with the harsh consonant sounds reiterate the lack of emotions the group of boys have and their merciless intent. Jack's development from, the same, from saying that there was no beast to joining in the chant proves that he has reached the peak of his savagery. Furthermore, the use of the words kill, then cut, and spill reinforces that they want to do more than what is necessary, and this exacerbates that they have gone beyond the point of barbarity as they enjoyed the killing. This shows a shift in their purpose or aim, killing the beast as it was originally based on fear and their need for security, whereas now they do it for the thrill. Moving on, the use of the pronoun his gives the beast human-like qualities and implies that the boys wanted to kill humans, which is cannibalistic. Alternatively, they could have known that it was Simon and they were too caught up in the moment or unwilling to stop because of their stubbornness. Another interpretation is that the boys might have known that the beast was inside them and that their inner conscience was the beast, which justifies the use of personal pronouns. Perhaps they were trying to remove their past, more civilised self, from existence so that they can harm others with their guilt stop without their guilt stopping them. This links with when Simon was talking to the pig's head. You knew, didn't you? I'm part of you. The repetition of the chant and the use of the power of three are both persuasive techniques which mirror Jack being a temptation to the boys. Again, similar thing. Some very good ideas in here. I would have made this paragraph very clearly a structure analysis paragraph. I think this quotation, kill the beast, cut his throat, spill his blood, I would have actually gone into some analysis there on the fact that the sentences were becoming shorter and shorter, which shows that the boys were becoming primitive, essentially. Um, that they were losing their civilised... It's almost like they're regressing uh, on this evolutionary scale. Um, and similarly, you know, there was some analysis of structure in the foreshadowing. I would have said that 
the idea of the pronoun his, that I want to kill humans, I would have said is foreshadowing what would come later. So just making a paragraph very clearly, a structure paragraph, is how I would have improved this, because I feel like this beginning paragraph was a good paragraph on language. Let's focus on structure. Earlier on in the novel, Golding shows the start of Jack's descent into savagery. Jack planned his new face. The adjective new has connotations of good, and it shows growth in a person, which contradicts to what Jack is doing. And by masking his face, Jack ultimately becomes more animalistic, as animals use camouflage to hunt down their prey. This is a step back because it illustrates the devolution of humans. So that's a nice little subtle difference point about the, the change in the character. But again, I think I would make that a structure point that you know Golding's structure shows the devolution of humans because Jack started like this and ended like this and therefore what Golding is saying is this and that bit about the writer's ideas and themes is the bit that's most missing here this student clearly knows the text very well can analyze language very well but it needs to be very clear what is Golding's point about savagery you know what is he using Jack to tell us what's Golding's idea and theme and it is something along the lines of that this evil is in all of us. Occasionally there's sort of one line like this that, you know, uh, all that's holding us back from being savage is the weight of civilization. But I would bring in a little bit more on context perhaps about Golding's experience of war and how he might have been influenced by the evil he saw in mankind, how he definitely seems to be presenting a theme about the innate evil of humans and what is he saying to us as readers. Just a little bit taking the answer outside of the text referencing context, referencing the writer's ideas and themes would have improved this answer. If you enjoyed this video and you want more, please subscribe to the channel.